Yeah, hi guys. So, as I'm expecting a a visit from one of my favourite mockers and scoffers, <laughs> or he likes me. Um, yeah, I'll just do a, a quick rundown on on his channel. So, um, he hasn't got too much there, but he's he's working his way there. So, yeah, he. Uh, look, I, I agree with what he's doing sort of thing, it's good to uh, to pick out, you know, pick out these things and store this information for later on because it's all learning sort of stuff, learning curves. Um, this one here, I think he picked on me about that one there one time because I shared someone else's video. Um, yeah, this one here, the 1700 Chinese ships, blah blah blah. blah. So. Uh, that one there we got off the channel there because the news channels were doing it. So a quick Google search would have shown that the news channels were putting that exact headline. All right, so um, he's like, "That's a lie. There's no blah blah blah." So the, all the all these were doing were repeating what the news was. And the other thing you could do was you put an app on your phone, and you could get live shipping updates. Um, it's like the planes ones, you know. If you're tracking planes, you can do it with ships. Alright, so um, I did that too. I put it on just to see if it's true, and yeah, there were all the ships out there and all that sort of stuff, and um, and the news seemed to be on the ball with that sort of thing. So, fair enough, I checked it out, and uh, yeah, it was true. And he's gone on there and got all nasty and whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, he also does um, Rebecca B. Alright, so as I was saying in the last video, she's got fruit of the spirit and that. Um, but uh, she had one issue uh, that I couldn't bear. It just hurt me, hurt my heart. As she said, Jesus is not God. So, that, like I said, that that's um, like even Jews knew what the Son of God means, right? Um, but no, she's actually Aryan, where she does she doesn't even believe all things were created through Jesus. Um, she thinks uh, Jesus is a creation uh, so yeah I couldn't follow that one I don't know if she ever was a prophet or whatever um, but <clears throat> anyway that's that's why I stopped following her so um, so yeah so uh, just a word of warning there'll be a bit of swearing here so just have a look at this one I'm telling you brothers and sisters so I love you God bless you keep safe keep the faith Keep your head up, keep your eyes upon the sky, because I'm telling you, you sure Jesus Christ is coming to you. So this is, um, he thinks he's funny, so he puts his little skits in there. So that's mocking, so <laughs> quite obviously. He, he's good at it. I'll give him that. Um, so yeah, he, he's basically on milk when it comes to scripture sort of stuff. So um, I may do a big tear down of all these videos later, go through them, but it's very time consuming. I really can't be bothered. To, uh, it, it's more vindictive or anything for me to do that sort of thing but um, just using this to show what, sort of like what mocking is and he's not big one there's a lot a lot of mockers that are a lot bigger than him uh, this fella so um, yeah as it says here it's copyright act fair use um, blah 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 criticism Let's have a watch what he says in this Hi video. guys, this is John with Lighthouse Reveals. So today I'm here to make a video on Rebecca B. and Mandy Ralph, who has since changed her name on YouTube to Seek Heavenly Things. I believe she changed her name because she was getting such flack for her February 15th false prophecies, and she's trying to hide the evidence and make people forget that it's really her. But anyways... Rebecca B. and Mandy are now sharing videos saying that the coronal mass ejection that just happened on Friday is going to cause three days of darkness 
in the coming up days. They have absolutely no idea what they are talking about. And you can see on the left hand side of the screen, Mandy's video. She literally just copy and pasted Rebecca's video. So she doesn't have any independent thought or evidence for the three days of darkness. She just found something on TikTok and then shared it because it fit her narrative and her own confirmation bias. When I was watching Mandy's video on this subject, I was perusing through the comment section to see what people were saying about it. And someone asked her to explain the three days of darkness. Mandy states that the three days of darkness comes after the rapture. And she heard it three times. So yet again, Mandy is saying she is hearing from the Holy Spirit, the Lord, or God. And with this information, we can assume that she believes the rapture will occur either Saturday or Sunday, since the coronal mass ejection will be impacting Earth Monday into Tuesday. So when these three days of darkness don't happen by Monday night into Tuesday, yet again, we will have more proof that Mandy is a false prophet and hearing from lying and evil spirits. There is a YouTuber named Suspicious Observers. This man makes videos daily about the sun and the earth. He has also published many books on this subject matter. Unlike Mandy or Rebecca, he actually has real life knowledge about the coronal mass ejection. So he just gives a quick synopsis of when the CME will be here and what its effects will be. And he's not at all afraid of it being anything major. And he even says so in the end of his video. So here we are, Mandy and Rebecca, constantly fear-mongering the Christians of this nation and of the world. There will be no excuse for them again after this date passes on Monday and Tuesday. That's all I have on this, guys. Don't be afraid. Don't listen to these false prophets. This is Ben John with Lighthouse Reveals. Yeah, so basically pretty good. And I agree with what he said, you know. He's just basically copying and pasting other people's stuff for his own agenda. Um, yeah, spot on. And the other thing you'll notice he didn't notice or didn't pick on is the three days of darkness is a Catholic doctrine. Right? It's not even Christian, so he's telling them they don't know what they're talking about. Well, okay, say no more, you know. So, uh, as I said, he's milk, milk at best with Bible. He, if, <laughs> he's still learning. That's 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 the big thing. But so um, I'll give him that. But it, he is a hound dog when it comes to harassing people on their channels. So that bit um, until he repents of that. Um, I'm not interested in talking with this fella and his channel like I said he have some stuff there that probably needs to stay for later research like for you know when the rapture does happen um, they have some reference on where things went wrong and right and whatever else alrighty so um, yeah all good alright God bless guys